Hello, hello everyone, this is Distra, and welcome back to Empire Total War, playing as France using the Darth Mod. So, if you missed the last part, which was about 12 minutes long, you might think uh, not much would happen in, in uh, 12 minutes, but then again, I captured two provinces and basically killed an entire enemy country, which had been bothering me for quite a while now. Even tried to invade Paris, I think, so yeah, they were quite a nuisance. And, uh, okay, so, countries I'm still at war with. Basically these guys. And Barbary states, but everyone's at war with them. And then Great Britain. And Ireland. But basically the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Well, one year till it forms. Anyway. What we got on our hands is a rebellion. But thankfully, by now... Our artillery has actually been built, so that is really great. We're still in the same turn uh, as in the last part, so I have all, I have uh, used a lot of money, but obviously I still have some funds remaining, which is a good because uh, uh, what I have decided I need to do now uh, is basically to go over to to the Americas and actually capture uh, the victory. Condition regions, yeah, and that basically means uh, basically the United States, which I'm sorry, the U.S. I had to break in the lines with you. Uh, also, a lot of British territories, or um, they are British now, but will be owned by rebels pretty soon. Uh, Michigan territory, uh, that. Let's see, Leeward Islands. Uh, I think that's Martinique, so I just had to recapture Martinique. New France, which is basically Quebec, I think. New York, that's self-explanatory. Boston, uh, yeah, Cherokee, isn't that like here or something? Oh, it's actually marked here, so <laughs> that was silly. So here we go, Cherokee Territory, Michigan. So basically, most of what actually was was French at, at some point in time. And apart from that, I think I have every every region in Europe, and then some. So that's good. So, um, the conclusion is... Well, what I was trying to get at is that I need a lot of units to get out to the Americas and kick some serious butts. And with the British out of the way, pretty soon, uh, that will be quite easy when I don't have any competition when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to the sea. I'm not at war with a uh, big, a uh, big sea power. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. Can't say I have uh, any really exotic units uh, available. Let's see. Uh, I need artillery, but I think I'll recruit um, the new artillery I get. And actually, does this grant me any units? I think so. Swiss Guard. Okay, so. Uh, we will uh, soon have some... Uh, some uh, kind of unique um, units available pretty soon. Uh, other than that, I, th I seem to have used all my money. Except for this. Grenadiers as well. So. That's that. Also, how are you doing? Uh, well... You're not too happy. How are you guys doing? You're not happy at all. Even with... Yep, still not happy. These guys, they are doing better. Um, but I can't take these armies, really. Because, yeah, just look at this. If these guys decide to attack, I'm pretty much screwed if I, uh, if I don't have a good defense here. Also, how much... Okay, so no replenishing required? Really? It's 64... Oh, it's a general. I didn't think about that. Well, it's technically a general. There we go. All of you are being repaired. And I'm just gonna fill these two last spots. And let's fill them with howitzers. I think I have one spot right here. And, uh, yeah, why not? We'll fill it, fill it with a standard line of three. So that means that these two uh, quite decent cities are actually protected. But as soon as these guys can 
actually be happy for once. I know it's really tricky for them, but they'll, they'll have to get used, used to me. And I haven't gotten used to me yet, and it's taken quite a long time. But anyway, once those guys are actually free to do whatever they like, uh, I'll probably bring them over to the Americas as well. Let's see, gentlemen, you can go and study a bit. Uh, speaking of studying, I seem to have a, uh, a university which has not been put to use yet. Let's change that. Uh, quick climb shells, well, 15 turns, do I really want that? Uh, I guess every single one of these is going to take a long time. So, let's see. Hmm. Maybe this one? I don't know, might just put it on a technology which I don't really need, but would be nice to have in like 20 turns or something. Also, this might be upgraded. Hmm. Seems I actually can't do that, so never mind. Yeah, secular humanism. Why not? As I said, I don't really need that, but it's good to have. But. Let's see. There we go. Actually been postponed that way too long, I would say. Okay, uh, they are doomed. There aren't many men in artillery units. That's uh, why we don't have... Uh, well, we don't have... Hmm. How should I put this? Uh, when you ju just purely look at the numbers, it doesn't seem like we have a any major advantage. Uh, but consider that these guys only have 48 men in each, each unit and... Then you can really see um, how how good this army is just uh, just taking away the artillery. What I'm trying to get at is uh, the artillery doesn't have really an impact on men, so you can't really take a look at the powers of an army from numbers purely. And I have five of them, and he has two, and one of them isn't even well. Two of them are actually underpowered compared to mine. So yeah. Okay then, we are ready. Let's see. Find a good place for your artillery, battery. Looks good enough. And... Let's take our... Uh, our uh, courtesy units, really. And just spread them out in front to protect. And uh, yeah, let's try to actually have these guys all not fire immediately, which would seriously, seriously damage my guys. Let's see, end deployment, push up. Okay, the cavalry is just gonna rush me if I know them, uh, if I know them right, and I probably do. Oh, look at this lifeguards trying to do something. Anyway. I think it's safe to go on and do this. Ooh, that's quite deadly. Let's see. Um. Ooh, even more deadly. Let's see, uh, have we killed not any of those guys, but we did destroy a cannon over here. A six pounder. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I can just march on them and they'll probably die. Let's see, what's happened to the lifeguards? Okay, they're back here, so never mind. I thought they might be outflanking. But then again, obviously not. The horse artillery, horse artillery has just given up. So now it's time to go after the howitzers, which I probably should have done in the first place. Because I would consider them a lot more dangerous. 
just because of uh, uh, carcass shots and quick lamp shots. If they do have that, I don't know if uh, of, if uh, Britain has actually researched that yet. Hmm. No, that appears to be a round shot, actually. Interest interesting. Let's see, and once again, my artillery doesn't like the orders I give them. Well, that's, that's slightly better. At least in the general general direction. Oh, the horse has to be returned. Okay, let's take you and put you on the case. And the rest should still focus on the, on the howitzers. Yep, that's definitely round shots. And here comes the cavalry. Or may maybe, maybe not. Okay, get into range. That's good. Prepare. Present fire. We have a success. And by the way, that wasn't the desync in the video. That was actually the sound glitching, and yeah, I, f I find that to be re returning a bug, which is really annoying. Just you hear, well, you see the, uh, the first line fire, and then like a second later, you hear the the noise. It really takes you after the moment. But anyway, let's see. They have uh, three cannons remaining. Or oh, uh, three guns remaining. Oh dear, carcass shot. Yeah. You can see how devastating that is. I, I need to push up and just take them out. Let's see, you go for the lifeguards. And that will probably cause them to uh, run into me. Just YOLO right into me. Okay. Try to avoid that. Thankfully, no one was hurt or killed. Oh, same goes for that one. It's quite inaccurate at uh, charging units, as you might imagine. Oh, will he charge? Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's quite damaging. Wow, they shattered instantly. Uh, but I'm seeing I'm taking friendly fire from the artillery, even though I tried to tilt to actually attack those guys instead of those guys. So these guys got uh, got a, a round shot to the back of the head. Hmm. I don't think I trust my artillery anymore, really. Also, friendly fire. But that's my fault. Uh, let's see, I basically routed every unit except for... Uh, of these guys, the uh, 33rd foot, and the cavalry. Okay, one more. You get one more chance. Try to actually hit this time. Also, probably go for these guys. Those aren't on the move, and in theory, should be easier to hit. There you go, they're all firing. Come on, you guys. Seriously? Anyway, at least some guys actually follow the orders. Give them a med medal or something. Let's see, I'll, I'll just rush past them because those guys won't be killed unless charged, I think. I can't remember. I think that might be how it works. <sighs> Come on! How stupid can you be? Just look at this. These guys have taken way more damage from friendly fire than than any unit 
combined. Okay, you... Go and take a rest. It's well deserved after the BS you have suffered. Okay, where are the lifeguards? They are... Routing? No, they're actually there. Try to hit them. Well, I'm still hitting my own man. But this time it's actually my fault. Okay, shattered. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Hmm. There we go. And you guys will probably charge. Let's see. What will you do? Run away, apparently. I have no problem problems with that. Never mind, charging seems to be a pretty snazzy idea. Or maybe not. To charge or not to charge? That really is the question. Okay, I see what you're doing. Well, then again, maybe not. Probably need to wait for one guy to really... Yeah. Hmm. Some well-timed animations there. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Anyway, take this unit, charge them in. Okay, they are retreating, so form up a line instead. Timeout units, put you on square just in case. In case they change their mind. And you know what? It seems like they'll do, but then again. You're way too close to my line. And uh, yeah, you saw the result of that. Pretty clearly. Oh! There you go. Oh, you don't actually fire. You don't actually fire by rank. That's interesting. Well done. Anyway, these guys are shattered, and that was the last unit, I do believe. So, end the battle. Heroic. Once again, highly doubt the definition of heroic. Or highly criticize the definition of heroic. Decisive. That was more Marché. fitting that uh, that case, I would say. Anyway, no reason to uh, not also resolve that. Uh, I don't have any funds to um, to actually repair any of this. And of course, in the last auto resolve, my artillery got damaged, which uh, is what happens. The damage is kind of distributed among the uh, the units in uh, in your army, and uh, that's why suddenly your, your artillery uh, takes a lot of damage. Anyway, actually, one very very good unit and. Uh, well, two technically, but one of them are very damaged. So you get the honor, or you get to share the honor of capturing Edinburgh, which will happen once the artillery gets there, probably, or they might sally out this turn. Well, seeing that it's only three turns until surrender, I think I'll starve them out. Anyway, 
I think we have done what can be done for this turn, so let's end it. And see if anything interesting actually happens. Mm -hmm. Still hanging on to that navy. And that's a naval hospital. So I can recruit a uh, heavy first rate from that. That's good. Once again, they, they're they after Guiana. But you won't get that, trust me. Well, you might get that, but you won't get to keep it, because you are you will be exterminated. Trust me on that. And peace agreement? Come on, peace agreement? No! I actually learned I don't want peace with them. Huh. Quite amazing. Oh, who are you invading? Malta? Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, actually, I think I saw some Russians uh, Russians load onto a ship, so they might actually be going for Stockholm here. Which will be very interesting. I could see some... Yeah, I saw a... Uh... Oh yeah, mark my words. Stockholm is now Russian. Oh wow, how the mighty have fallen. In just a hundred years. And it's Swedish again, so never mind. <laughs>